Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. This is what I call my morning musings. And <clears throat> we're studying the eschatology of the parables of Jesus. And Matthew chapter 13, we're going to be looking at verse 43 this morning. But before we do that, I want to remind you of the Preterist Pilgrim Weekend 2015 coming up July 16th through the 18th, Ardmore, Oklahoma at the Ardmore Convention Center. Our theme this year is dispensationalism, dangerous or divine. Will there really be a rapture? What about Armageddon? What about the man of sin? Are we living in the last days? Are we seeing the signs of the end around us everywhere? And what is the impact <clears throat> of Zionism on our world today? Is it dangerous or is it divine? Look, you really, really want to be here. We've got a great lineup of speakers. We've got great topics. Go to my website, eschatology.org, BibleProphecy.com, and sign up. Been having a little bit of difficulty with the websites uh, lately. We think we've got it straightened out almost. If you have difficulty, contact me personally via email and I'll help you out with that. But main thing is you want to be here July 16th through the 18th, Preterist Pilgrim Weekend 2015. Okay, <coughs> pardon me. In Matthew 13, 43, Jesus said that at the end of the age harvest, which is the resurrection obviously, it would send forth his angels. They would gather, their, gather out the wicked first. Then they would gather the righteous. Notice it. Then he says, Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. As most commentators acknowledge, Jesus is here directly echoing, citing Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. Now, why is that important? Well, <clears throat> because Jesus was a Jew, he was in his ministry, he was reiterating and confirming the old covenant promises made to Israel, Romans 15 verse 8, and in his eschatology, here he is citing Daniel chapter 12. Well, let's see, Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 predicted the resurrection, which is the harvest of Matthew 13. <clears throat> Daniel chapter 12, verse 4 <clears throat> says it's talking about the time of the end, just like Matthew 13 is talking about the time of the end. Daniel 12, verse 3 says that, that, that at that time of the end resurrection, the righteous would shine forth in the kingdom. Very clearly, Jesus is drawing from Daniel chapter 12. Well, notice this. <clears throat> In Daniel 12, verse 6, one angel asks another, When shall these things be? When shall all of these things, not some of them, not a little bit of them, not even most of them, but when shall all of these things be fulfilled? The other angel lifts his hands to heaven and swears by him who lives forever and ever and says, it shall be for a time, times, and a half time. Well, let's just focus on the next statement. When the power of the holy people has been completely shattered, all, not some, not a little bit, not even most, but all of these things will be fulfilled. Not they will begin to be fulfilled, but they will be fulfilled. Okay. Who was Daniel's holy people? O covenant Israel. <clears throat> the resurrection, the end of the age, when the righteous would shine forth, would be when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered. In other words, when Old Covenant Israel 
was completely shattered. <clears throat> that is the time of the end of the age. That is the time of the harvest. That is the time of the coming of the Son of Man in Matthew chapter 13. You cannot extrapolate the end time harvest <clears throat> at the coming of the Lord when the righteous would shine forth in the kingdom beyond the time when Daniel's holy people would be completely shattered. When was that? In AD 70. Thus, in Matthew chapter 13, by drawing directly on Daniel chapter 12, we have de definitive inspired commentary on the end of the age, the coming of the Lord, and the resurrection harvest placed in A.D. 70. Look, folks, I cover this and a ton more in this 32 series lesson on the parables of Jesus, as well as we covered it in the 2006 Preterist Pilgrim Weekend on the eschatology of the parables. You really, really need to get this information. It is powerful. It is helpful. I want to tell you, <laughs> you, can't, <clears throat> you can't refute it either. Go to my website, <clears throat> eschatology.org, bibleprophecy.com, order the material, either one of them or both of them, Mention that you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook, and I'll refund your shipping. Thank you so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. And yes, indeed, we've got, wow, we've got more, and it's great stuff, so you don't want to miss it. We'll see you on the flip side.